This is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I'm getting ready to go to the store now. Just came out of the convalescent home. Wow. An assisted living, I believe that's what it's called. Okay, he's sitting there, so I guess I'll go. All right. You snooze, you lose, buddy. A stagnant life full of dirt or an abundant life? Choose. Sometimes we think that because we're forgiven for sin, God is merciful, God is kind, God is long-suffering, and I thank Him for that, because I need that mercy. But you know, sometimes we can stomp all over it, and we don't realize that we take His mercy for granted. So we do, and we do, and we do, and we don't realize that we are slowing down our own progress. Because the more dirt you pour into water, the slower that water is going to flow. The slower the water flows, and the more dirt you pour on top of that, you're going to end up with mud. And mud does not flow. Mud sits and stagnates. And we don't need to turn our lives into mud just because God is merciful. So be careful not to stomp all over God's mercy. Be careful not to pour your dirt all over his mercy. Because God, he is love. But he's, he's not to be taken for granted. He's not to be played for Patsy. You know, there's a scripture in Ezekiel that talks about the miry places versus the area that where the water flows from the temple. Where the water flows, Ezekiel said the angel had him standing near the bank of a river. And on this bank of the river, I think this is Ezekiel 47, on this bank of the river, the water was beautiful, it was clean, it was flowing, and the angel had him step in the water and it was up to the ankles. Then the angel took him a little further down. He had him step in. The water rose and it was up to the knees. And then the water rose up higher. I think it was up to the waist. And he said it flowed so full that it was impassable. In other words, you have to swim through it to get to the other side. Now listen to this. He's, he, he described the trees that were on the side of the, the river. And he said the water was so beautiful and so rich that everything that was near that water thrived and grew and it was rich and, and, and full of life. But in the miry places, that's where the mud is. Mm, nasty, nasty, nasty. No, that wasn't a place for things to thrive and grow. So think about that in your life. Do you want to live in the mire and the mud? Or do you want to live in God's living water? What do you want to do? Because I'm telling you, it really makes a difference, y'all. It really makes a difference what you decide to do with your life, how you decide to live your life, and where you decide to dwell in God's living water or in the mire the muck and the mire. Think about that.